Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I don't know what's gotten into me, but I want to do another um, LCS uh, lineup build breakdown um, for today, July 13th. We have about three hours until lock, so I had a little bit of time to do this, so I figured I may as well fire this off. Um, so what we're looking at here is, again, the projection page on TrueDFS, and we're going to go through it uh, individually, and then we're also going to look at the stacks, and then we're going to use Sabres and just build lineups and see what we kind of uh, come up with. I was really, really close to taking something down. Uh, I think it was yesterday or the day before. Um, so we're going to continue to do this. I don't know why I'm really getting this uh, this urge to play more. Um, probably because the, the prize pools have just gotten bigger the last couple of days. But as you guys know, I mean, this is one of my favorite sports to play as far as DFS goes. And I guess it's because the baseball has been on a break that I've been focusing a little more on it. But I mean, quite honestly, I've been busy with other things and haven't focused too much on much of anything. So uh, that's not the excuse. I'm just kind of juiced up for uh, some LOL breakdowns. What I do encourage you guys to do, by the way, is if you haven't already, uh, I put together a video that just goes through like how to play League of Legends in general. I don't know if it got put up on the site yet uh, where it's supposed to, but uh, if so, you should be able to find it. But for now, we're just going to stick to this slate's breakdown. So when we're looking at it just on the projections, again, I, I, I by default rate everything by sheets value score. And we're going to get to the stats first in a second. But my process is, is starts with just kind of looking at the players. I don't look at their the fundamentals or anything like that. If you want the more, you know, more fundamental looks, you know, you you'll look at um uh, DFS chance breakdowns, which show up from time to time. This is all based on the projections, which have already taken that type of thing into account. Um, so first thing I'll look at here is I'll notice that, uh, the golden guardians guys are right at the top of the list, um, rated by sheets value score. So I'm imagining that they're going to be probably the top stack. And then the next one I see is evil geniuses. So it looks as though it's, it, it's pretty, it's a pretty straightforward type of builds. Um, uh, if ownership weren't a thing, right? So evil geniuses, golden guardians would be the two best. And then the next guys are, well, you have APA coming from, or APA coming from, from team liquid and, you know, FBI showing up from NRG, but pretty much, and then you get down to the C9 dudes, but it's pretty much golden guardians and evil geniuses looks to be the, the two best. Now, when you look at it by stacks, I imagine it's going to be look the same. Yeah. So it looks as though um, Golden Guardians, Evil Geniuses rate, rate the best. Now, that doesn't mean you can actually play them together because sometimes they do that with salaries. They don't allow you to play them together. The other thing I'll notice here is that uh, of these two, it looks as though at least Evil Genius has a chance to be the lower owned of the two. Um, so if you want to play Evil Genius – with kind of a lower owned secondary stack, like maybe, like you said, maybe NRG, maybe that makes some sense. And then the other thing that I'll notice is that uh, uh, DIG, they have a pretty good modified stack score given their ownership. I mean, they, they certainly are not one of the top uh, plays, but given the fact that they're pretty close to at least a second tier play, um, the fact that they're lower owned, I think that this, uh, this actually is probably worth something in GPPs. So uh, without even building, I would say Golden Guardians, Evil Genius, probably Cloud9 is probably the fade. Um, and then NRG and Dig. So those would be my, my top ones. So Golden Guardians, Evil Genius, NRG, and DIG. Now let's pull up a Saber Sim and see what type of builds we get when we just put our projections in. And I think I've already preloaded them. Ooh, MLB is coming back soon. Um, all right, so have I preloaded these? No, I have not. So let's do this. And we're really violating rule one, that being don't, don't do a demonstration until you have tested your technology. So we are doing this kind of on the spot here. Let's see. So I'm actually lo loading this offline. I mean, uh, not using the true DFS uh, Sabersim uh, interface. All right, so we're all loaded. 
So let's build, I don't know, 30 lineups and let's see what we come up with. We're going to use the Saber Sim defaults, which are pretty, pretty random. Let's give it a little more juice and we'll build 30 lineups. And what we're going to do is first, we're going to make sure we get only four threes. I just don't play four twos in, in, in LCS. And then we are going to decide whether we want to X out uh, support captains and top captains, which usually just don't show up in the optimals all that often. Um, where you will see them show up is when you have a huge, huge favorite. Um, just because they make it so you really want to get four guys from that team in. And from a price perspective, the only way you could do it is by putting putting the, the, the favorite support and captain. So let's take a look and see what we come up with. So based on this, let's put 100% four threes as far as stacks go. And it looks as though they actually have C9 at the top, um, followed by uh, Evil Genius, then Team Liquid. So it's not exactly what I expected. Um, now, the first thing I want to see is if you could have gotten the Golden Guardians and E and Evil Genius together. So let's put Evil Genius. Yeah, I didn't even get any Evil Genius with Golden Guardians. So I guess you were just kind of unable to do it. Um, and that's why these other that's why these other teams ended up uh, ended up more popular. Um, what I I wonder if I could try to force that in just to prove it. Now, I'm, I'm going to trust that you probably can't do it. Otherwise, it, it, otherwise it just would have shown up, right? Just based on the predictions. So it looks as though what's going to what's happening is they're 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 probably trying to give you you know a lot of C9 here. But what I think I'd like to do is kind of force in some of these others a little more. I'm I think I'm kind of inclined to fade the um the C9 here. Just because they don't rate as high, their ownership is high, and you got to fade somebody. So if you ended up just for for funsies, if I met max exposure zero of C nine, and then you get the evil genius, the DIG, which I thought was pretty low owned, with uh, what you call it, with with Golden Guardians and also NRG, you get like fifty percent Team Liquid, which is uh, not something that I was expecting, but I think this is not a bad idea, actually. Um, this way, we fade Cloud9, we're rooting against the one team, and then we're just kind of rolling with it. Now, the other thing I want to do is go back into the players and see, now, here's the problem. Um, what I forgot to do is take out the supports before I X'd out Cloud9, because it's possible that the Cloud9s that I was getting had Sven and the captain, which I probably would have X'd out anyway. But let's just see what we do here. So let let's let's take out the cap the support captain lineups, and also the the um, the top captain lineups. And see how that changes things. Um, first, let's look at stack types. Is good team stacks. So now we're getting like. Now, see this this I'm kind of down with you know 66% DIG 60% e evil genius 26% golden guardians and and full fade cloud nine I think this is a probably a good GPP portfolio here because DIG is going to be really low owned um and we're playing them with the tops the the top guys without really playing any cloud nine now when you look at four stacks we're getting some digs and I think this is probably a pretty cool way to play today. So that's probably what I am going to do. Um, and so I'll probably, listen, I can't tell you exactly what I'm going to play. And I'm going to do, you know, some kind of finagling after this. But this is the my kind of my process. So today, um, the cloud nine is going to be the fade. And I'm going to probably get myself a decent amount of the top seeded guys, that being uh, EG and Golden Guardians and uh, DIG is going to be my low owned, uh, my low owned GPP shot. Um, I'm going to keep doing more of these just because it doesn't take me too long. And it seems that we have quite a bit of interest in the, in the discord, in the sport. So let's just keep it going. Good luck, everybody.